How disappointing was that performance from Belgium's perspective, Aurelio, when you were watching it? I think uh, uh, the way they performed is lack of, lack, uh, of com commitment. Uh, we can see that uh, is a lack of management as well, uh, uh, like Marco said, but uh, uh, to take uh, proper decisions. When you take into football, uh, it will affect the group. So, but uh, to lose uh, the way they are losing it. Uh, games you can lose or win or draw, but uh, the, the way they are losing it, uh, you cannot take it. They cannot take it. They, think they, they, they have to put on, uh, themselves on, on a good position to think that uh, they are much better than that. Hmm. And, uh, but they, they need to know that only quite, uh, quality doesn't want the game. It's not going to win the game, so uh, they need to, to have more commitment as well. Is it not just only the disharmony in the side, Paul, but also do you think they still believe in Roberto Martinez? Do you think they are still playing for him? I think it's, well... Yes, I do think they're still playing for okay. him. I do. I think they respect him because he's not only the manager, he's the technical director as well, isn't he? And I think he's had this team for a long time. Listen, this is a team that's been in the top two of the world since 2018. So they've been in the world's top two for four years now, four plus years, and they haven't won anything or come close to winning anything, not even the I Nations think they've been League. Number, number one as well. And they've been yeah, number one at, at times. Top. So there is question marks over Martinez, there is question marks over getting the best out of his players, getting the best results for his team, and how his tenure has been. Yes, they've had good results, but whenever they've played good teams that we would class as world's best teams, they've fallen short. And in this tournament, again, I think quality isn't just going to get you over the line. Attitude and application is the minimum requirement. Minimum effort is, you know, that's the minimum, maximum effort is the minimum requirement. And they haven't got that work ethic in the team. It's far too easy. There's too much of a blame culture in that team to look around the team when things aren't going right. Players are blaming one another, how, and that starts from the manager. He has to control that. How, how do you draw? Can you actually draw comparisons between this golden generation and England's golden generation, and what they went through in that time? Because similar reports are coming out. The media, as well, the player Roberto Martinez hit back at the Belgian media, saying they are creating a divide. Yeah, and we, we never had a, the we never had a divide in the team. There was never a divide. There was never a problem. With the team there was never a problem with the squad within the the harmony of the squad actually the relationship of the players and the manager was always good the problem we had was on the field we were the expectation what was brought to us is the same as the, the belgian one in that sense you can look at the belgian side you can look at our england squad and you can make very very similar comparisons we were it was almost always nearly always a harmonious camp there was little divides at times where clicks as in team clicks yeah. but nothing obvious and nothing in the media Whereas the Belgian side, they've, they've obviously come out openly and there's, there's problems there. But I think the quality that they've got, he's, he's flexible with his formation, which we weren't in 2006. We had a fantastic squad, we had a fantastic start in 11. But we played a 4-4-2 or a 4-4-1-1. And regardless of the personnel, he tried to get the best players into the best positions. And I think in a similar way, Roberto Martinez, he's kind of stuck with the three at the back now, but he's too loyal to his older players. There's a next generation of players coming through. Tielemans, Wout Fey at Leicester, they haven't really had a look in. I mean, we're going to look at the team now. Tielemans today still hasn't got in the team and he's been outstanding. There's a, an older generation in this Belgian team where I think he's been far too loyal to his older players in a formation that he's, has been inflexible of late.